<laughs> Good morning, my name is Jake. Today I will brew a cup of coffee using Chemex. So what I love about Chemex is that it's very accessible to brew a cup of coffee that yields in a clean, sweet cup and fully developed body and flavor. That's why for today I choose to brew espresso roast coffee. You just need to have a whiskey kettle, a, our Chemex decanter, paper filter, our coffee, and of, of course our water. To start off, uh, we'll be opening our paper filter between the third and fourth fold and place it into the top of our Chemex with the thicker sides towards the spout. This will help me proper fit and prevent it from collapsing later on. Next is to wet the entire paper filter including the portion that sits above the glass for uh, about 185 of hot filtered water. This is to eliminate the paper taste in our cup and also sets the temperature of my Chemex. Next is to discard this water that I use for priming. So earlier, I have ground uh, 30 grams of espresso roast coffee using the dating grinder number 5 setting. But before and after I grind my coffee, I make sure that there is no residual coffee left in my grinder because it would affect the flavor of my coffee. So what I am getting right now is the rich and roasty, ar dry aroma of espresso roast coffee. Thank you. Next is to transfer our coffee into our wet paper filter, centered and evenly distributed. Next is to pour a, a little amount of hot water, making sure that all the grounds are wet and well saturated. Making sure that the water is in a uh, pencil light and all the grounds are wet and well saturated. And, uh, and allow our coffee to bloom for about 30 seconds. Now, blooming is very important because it allows uh, coffee grounds to degas and also allows water to pass through smoothly and extract the proper flavors of our coffee. Thirty seconds is up. I will continue pouring half of the hot water over the grounds slowly and evenly in a circular motion, maintaining a consistent and moderate of pour, but avoiding the sides of the carafe. And let it pause for another 30 seconds to prevent our coffee from overfilling and maintaining the temperature of my Chemex. So Chemex was invented by Peter Slumbum in 1941. His focus was on making everyday objects more functional, attractive, and enjoyable to use. 
the design chemics also not to have the perfect cup simple but also to have this vessel be a thing of beauty Thirty seconds is up. I will continue pouring uh, hot water over the grounds, maintaining a, a consistent rate of pour, but avoiding the sides of the carafe until it reaches 545 grams for a tall size Chemex brewed coffee. Now the whole extraction time of Chemex brewed coffee would take about 7 to 9 minutes. So this uh, step creates a gentle turbulence that steers the coffee and allows the grounds to extract more flavors. So why I choose uh, espresso rose? Because espresso has been the heart of our most popular beverages. It's a special blend of beans from Latin America and Asia Pacific that produces a rich and caramel sweetness flavor. Uh, also, espresso was invented in Italy by an enterprising soul who was seeking for a way to prepare coffee in less time in order to serve coffee lovers rushing to catch time. Which is somewhat, somewhat ironic because uh, people in Italy and all over the world, world nowadays would prep prefer their coffee to enjoy in slow and long sips. And if you want to try other dimensions of your coffee, you can try it with pour over brewing method. This uh, method produces a rich clean cup and that allows subtle flavor notes to shine while Chemex brewed coffee uh, produces a sweet and clean cup of coffee. The whole extraction is done when you see the droplet has completely stopped that indicates that our brewing is done or finished. Alright. So with your permission, allow me to take a sample of your coffee to check its flavor, consistency, and quality. perfectly green. So this is your tall size espresso rose Chemex brewed coffee. Thank you.